All right, everyone, so this is gonna be the war of the vinegar rinses. So, you may catch more flies with honey than with vinegar, but when it comes to using a good vinegar hair rinse, don't know how many flies you're gonna catch. However, you will find that clients love a good vinegar rinse. Um, so, I'm here to compare and contrast the Purology and the Redkins vinegar rinse. Which product was better, in my own opinion? Well, this was a very tough decision. But first, let me talk about how both these performed. Purology's hair rinse was also touted as being vegan because it's, you know, it's a vinegar rinse, like what's gonna be in there that's not vegan? Um, and the fact that Purology does not test on animals, so vegan, um, vegans tend to like Purology products from what I found. Um, Redkin does not say anything about that, but their hair rinse was touted as a uh, perfect product for color-treated hair because Anytime you use an acidic product and color treated hair, it's gonna keep the cuticle closed and tighter. It's not gonna let that color seep out of the hair. And a fresh vinegar rinse is always good for locking in that color because it's gonna restore the hair's pH. One thing I will say between both these products is that the Redken had more versatility. So you can use it as um, a complete system with the color extend magnetics. Um, there are different ways to use this product. You can use it um, after you condition, you can use it before you condition, you can use it as a shampoo. There are so many ways to use this product. And I found that roughly you can do it about the same with Purology. I actually found for some reason that this product felt um, a little bit more, um, I don't know what the word was, maybe like oily per se, that it was actually a little bit more conditioning, whereas the Purology's was a little bit more pure, no pun intended there. It just felt that it was more of a very light product, very pure one. Um, so I also did this blind, did not read the ingredients list, and I found this, that after reading the ingredients list, they are pretty much one and the same, with one exception. The um, Purology's Vinegar Rinse has hydrolyzed Apudia Ficus Indicia Flower Extract, and that is probably one of their main extracts that is touted to help with the shine factor, and I did notice that with the Purology's. Um, I find that they're very comparable, they're very similar. You can use them in many different ways. I do want to mention that, um, let's see where it says here. This one does tell you to use a conditioner after, and this one says just follow up your regular hair routine. So um, you can really use them in many different ways. I recommend if you try them or buy them both, try to use them in different ways and find out what you like, because what may work for um, someone else may not work for you and vice versa. I will say that both these products are fabulous for um, any kind of chemical service, like a perm. It's great to help neutralize the hair, I mean not neutralize, but normalize the hair. It brings it back to the hair's regular pH after you neutralize, or you can put a little bit of this in the neutralizer. I found that if you put a little bit of this in the neutralizer and then put some kind of bond protector, you will get the best perm of your entire life. So that is my own little pro tip to you guys. Or if you're not comfortable doing that with all the mixing, you can neutralize, rinse the neutralizer out, and then squirt a little of this through the hair and scrunch it up, and you'll get nice, defined curls. So, I'm gonna tell you guys, between these two products, which one was my favorite? This one. I liked Purology's. Um, something about it, it just um, stuck with me better. I found that it was a little bit more um, gentle on the hair and you had more versatility. The Redken, very close runner up. It was about the same. This one though is a little bit more money. So if you guys are on a budget, get the Redken. My honest opinion, I found they were pretty much the same. Um, just that my hair, I don't know if it was something else I used, reacted better with this one. But this one was still just a great product. So, whether you're Pureology Salon or Redken Salon or a mixture of both, the vinegar rinses are definitely must have. Whether it's Pureology or Redken, I thought they were all great. So, let me know to my viewers down below if you guys have tried either or of these products and tell me which one that you, which one do you prefer? Did you prefer the Redken over the Pureology? Did you like both? Was it a perfect tie? Let me know down below and I look forward to seeing you guys in upcoming videos.